Well, hello and welcome back to Posh Cats Camping. It's been a little while Hi. since we've picked What's a camera that? up and little Oscar's just run out the door. Hello, mate. Here he is. He's keen. What are you doing? You think we're going to go without you? And so he's bringing stuff. <laughs> we're just packing up the motorhome, um, as you do. Uh, we've been uh, preparing for this trip. This is a, a nine or ten night trip. Uh, that's going to take us up to Norfolk and then across to Yorkshire, up north uh, as we call it. And uh, then we're coming back uh, for a weekend with our friends Nick and Carol on their uh, Suffolk rally. So we'll be back in the county again, uh, of our, our home county, um, for the final weekend. And that will take us right nicely into August. And we all know what's happening in August, don't we? We're going to have a short weekend break on our own, Sue and I, and uh, just get our heads together and talk about what we're going to do. And the main purpose this week for going to Yorkshire is to, first of all, get our lovely Smurf checked. He's one year old next week, so uh, he's going to have his one year old warranty checks and uh, we're going to go and see IH Motorhomes in Nottingley for that and then um, we're going to meet up after that with uh, Tracy and Kev and talk about Europe yes that trip starts on the 25th of August so we're going to bring you uh, as much as we can as quickly as we can on that tour and that will be depending on when we, whether we can get connections and uh, Wi-Fi I know they've got Wi-Fi in France Italy and uh, Germany so I'm sure they'll allow us to use it. Let's get on with the packing for today then. Enough waffling. Uh, we've got one or two little things that we've not done before on this trip. I'm going to take you around the back of Smurf and show you what we've got. Well there we are, we've just got uh, a few things more to pack. I gave Smurf a little bit of a clean last night and uh, cleaned the roof as well because it was quite dusty up there. Surprising how dusty the solar panel gets when you're not moving around. And uh, here's the back of uh, Smurf here. Now we've um, invested a little bit into one of these, look. Now this is the Thule XT2 um, folding bike carrier. And uh, it's, it's quite a big beast really when you look at it from here, isn't it? Um, got the number plate on and as you can see if I lift here, um, it folds up nice and neatly. So that uh, that then comes off the tow hitch and it's locked onto the tow hitch here and the electrics get plugged in there which I haven't done yet I've only just lifted it on there and secured it on the hitch so before I do anything else I think I better plug that in it's a 13 pin uh, plug and it just goes straight in there like so so we haven't um, gone the whole hog and bought electric bikes yet but they're on our shopping list for later we're going to take our little folding bikes as a trial run to see how we get on and uh, you see Smurfs looking nice and shiny um, let's get the bikes on the back with the cover and then we'll be ready to start our journey so here we are with the two little bikes um, they're quite small quite compact do fold but um, they're, they're too big to go in well they will fit in the boot but of course we store a lot of other stuff in the boot our chairs and mats and uh, various other things in the boot so um so these are going to go on there on the back there and um, we're in readiness then for when we get electric bikes which uh, will fit on the on the back here well we're just about ready got uh, everything packed and uh, Sheila and Joe are waiting down the road for us um, just going to set the uh, sat nav up Please and we've got a little bit of a change to plan uh, Sophie's got her seat belt on here and uh, she's going to be uh, a front seat rider today mainly because we can't take the cone off her head uh, because she'll scratch her face um, and that would be well a backward step so um, she's able to travel with us, the vets have given us the okay to travel, so that's fine. Um, let's get on the road and we'll see you in Norfolk.
Well, we made it to the Norfolk Motorhome and Campervan Show at Cossey near Norwich, and it's um, a bit of a bit of grey here at the moment, but warm. Um, just got the bikes off the back of the van here. Um, they're still on the rack, but they're all locked up. We're um, about to walk over to the show. It's uh, Friday now. Um, yeah, we're going to go over to the show and have a little look and see what's over there. I don't think it's a huge show, but it uh, looks like there's plenty of interesting things to see. Oh well, we're going to go off now. Shayla and Joe. And we are at the furthest point from the show, I think, on this uh, field. But we'll wander down. Nice little walk. We've put the dogs to bed. They've had a nice little walk around the field this morning and uh, left the roof up. Both the roof hatches are open and the fly screens are across and they are sleepy. Well, we're at the back end of the show here. It's just arriving. There's lots of people. <laughs> yeah. Sue spotted something. Yeah. Downsizing again, Sue, are you? Yeah. <laughs> hey? I've got space in that as the camper van, so oh, yeah. that's got a microwave and a cooker. Look, that's, yeah. that's quite spacious. We could tow that on the back of Smurf, couldn't we? We've got a push out there, look. <laughs> That'd be his and hers then. That'd be a push out. You've got, you got a pop top, look. 18,000, yeah. And it's not bad, upstairs. is it? Yeah. It's 18,000. Yeah, you tow it on a. Yeah, I'm sure you'd have a little ladder to get up there, wouldn't you? <laughs> How cute is that? Yeah. Horn and rail, yeah. Most importantly, we've got a little privacy curtain ah, on the door. <laughs> I'm making fun of it, really, but it's a great idea, isn't it? If you've not got much room to store a caravan at home, that would be. Uh, be lovely because it's got a little pop out a little drop down on this side look so uh, plenty of space for a little footprint <laughs> so there's a porta potty is that oh yeah how nice and i like this dear little window yeah and a, yeah a little window yeah We've got a full-size sink. Look at that. Yeah. And is that an induction hob like we've got? It certainly looks like an induction hob, yeah. And we've got two ovens. This one's yeah. obviously a little convection oven. oven. And you've got a microwave. microwave. This must be... Yeah. That must be the fridge. Yep, that's a cool, that's a cool, cool box, box yeah. yeah. And then you've got the, the slide-out here, so this slide-out... That pop, pops out, yeah. makes a full bed, doesn't it? Yeah. So you've got a double bed in there. Excellent. More storage down there, isn't it? Storage there. Yeah. 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 It's good. I can stand up all right. Can you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Surprising, isn't it? Is it a rubber bar? We've got a cupboard down the back there as well, look. Yeah, storage at the back. Storage at the back. Handy shelf here. Very good. And I don't know what all these are. Yeah. There's loads of um, plugs. There's there's four sockets there. Wow. Main sockets. Yeah, that's good. Also available in red. <laughs> Match the car. <laughs> well, we've come to the Dometic outdoor stand and uh, Sheila is looking at an awning here. Nice drive away awning. She didn't want to be on camera, did she? She wandered off. This is a drive away, and uh, we quite like that. As you can see, a split through the middle here, so they've got two up. This is one side, and this is the other. Rather good. Here's Sue, look in the middle, stuck in the middle, and uh, yeah, that's quite good, isn't it, Sue? Yeah. yeah. This is my favourite one. Sue's got a favourite over here. Yeah, she's got a grin on her face, so it had to be something. Look at that. So, a dog kennel. So it's a dog kennel, but I, I think you had someone else in mind for that, didn't you? You were going to put me in the doghouse, weren't you? 
yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, that's rather good. Rather good. Do we know what the price is, Sue? No. Let's see if we can find out, and I'll put it on screen. So I can't stop myself. I had to come back to the IH stand. And there's a Mercedes Sprinter. Let's have a look. Rear doors on this one. And uh, you can see the darker wood grain. There's a nice boot and a locker in here. And it looks like the uh, Truma boiler is in the corner there where that locker is. And washroom mid van. Electric hookup. Just one window in the washroom. And the, uh, the toilet cassette is inside here. As you can see, everything we expect from Mercedes in the cab here. Twin swiveling seats, the driver's seat is left in situ for people to uh, try the driving position. Brand new van, this one. Yeah, there we go. Let's go in. I nearly uh, embarrassed myself with the little table. And uh, <laughs> we're going in. We're going in. Now, this is going to be very similar to our lovely Smurf. Yeah. How are you watching? Are you watching live? I've got an audience out here. Look, they're going to be on camera now for being cheeky. <laughs> there we are. And uh, a nice. Uh, the little trim around the edge makes it look quite different, doesn't it? And uh, mirror on the door there, whereas ours is here. So the real subtle differences that make it fresh. And there's the uh, cassette toilet, and very very similar to the to Smurf in there. Moving along, got the usual sink, and the tap has built into the sink on that one. And you've got the uh, three, uh, three gas burners and one electric, and then the lounge. Slightly different fabrics to ours. And you've got the Avtex TV and sound bar with the enclosure. You can see here. And the uh, TV aerial booster. Uh, got nice uh, winding uh, skylights rather than the mechanical ones and this is where we put all our bedding in here and it's almost the same maybe slightly shallower than the crafter um, very similar in size that cupboard and the others again very very similar 
slightly different shaped van. Sliding window here and all the others open. Some van conversions don't have these windows that open and you do get a little claustrophobic in the back of them. But uh, good to have. The cooker is uh, a full oven and grill on this one, uh, which is an <coughs> upgrade on ours. And there's storage for your table here, which is different to the crafter too. You're comparing it with mine. <laughs> No, I think you're doing a good job. I was yeah, impressed. Yeah, yeah. Can you send us the video after? Yeah. Nice, draw, nice drawer here with the knife box and cutlery drawer. And the thing about these uh, drawers is they're all timber framed, so they're nice and strong. And the fridge in this one is slightly larger. And storage above as well. And there's a, another drawer in the bottom here as well, which is part of the fridge wardrobe. So uh, there's no hanging rail in there, but I'm sure you could have a hanging rail put in there if you wanted to. And also one above, and this one does have a hanging rail. Lots of storage space for your clothes there. One thing about this longer van, uh, 690, does have lots of storage and electrics are normally under here there we are and a storage pole for your table um, as you know in Smurf we have a, an occasional table here this end of the cab end and this van has the table up in the lounge area which is doubling up as your double bed the skylight here and in the washroom there was a little fan like our own. So you've got the two skylights. So a beautiful van. That's a Mercedes Sprinter IH motorhome and it's the 690 RD. And retailing at a hundred and five thousand pounds. Well, speeds. Another camper van, rather splendid. Love the black and red. Typical layout. The uh, this is a Ford Little table. That's sixty thousand pounds. Love the black shiny wheels. Speeds gx.co.uk This one's sixty five thousand. More striking colours. Nice camping. Yeah, yeah, no worries. 
Maybe? Yeah, and obviously you've got the, the bigger one here, the Delta Max, but you do the Delta We do have the Delta Pro. Bob Ironshaw doing what he does best. Talking to the gentleman from the EcoFlow. Providers of this equipment. For more information, hop over to Bob Earnshaw. Total cool. This is something we've got in our van. And speaks for themselves, really. Keeps your van cool. Certainly works for us. Anyone want a kettle? A whole manner of things. All right, this is Susan's show special. It's a Remo Europeo 69. It's a 2019 van. And there's your spec six-speed manual gearbox with a 2.3 litre diesel. It's on a Fiat Ducato and uh, cab swivel seats, five berths, five belts, and uh, quite a few extras on there. Uh, white cab, as you can see. Uh, Remor. And uh, down the back end here, got the habitation door with a little uh, pocket in the door. Nice big garage, huge door on the garage here. And I'm sure bicycles will fit in there. We've got a bike rack at the back. And you've got a bike rack, oh my goodness. Yeah. Camera. yeah. So your awning and all sorts can go in there. Camera. Uh, good price for what it is. Let's go and have a little look inside it. <laughs> so let's have a little look and see how much the 55,000 55, pounds. Oh, that's a nice light interior. Yeah. Five seats, five seat belts. There's certainly a Fiat manual gearbox. Big cab area up the front here, lots of storage above here. Um, no swivel. Swivel seats, yeah. You've got your TV above here yep. so that you can watch it I, from any position in the lounge. That will swivel round, of course. And this is where we came in. Seat there as well. So there's a nice big seating area at the front of the van here. It's very good. And if you turn round, you've got quite a good size oven. Then underneath that, you've got the fridge freezer. Yep. Which is a good size. And then opposite that is the kitchen. A nice big window to look out of. We've got storage above here. And then three gas burners. Quite a fancy tap. Mm. This is quite heavy. It lifts up. You've got a nice deep bowl. It is quite a deep bowl, that isn't it? Yeah. And underneath it, you've got storage here. And then you've got three drawers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then the cupboard at the bottom here. But that's a cupboard and that's a drawer as well. And then you've got a slide door that slides across to separate the bedroom and washroom. And if you come through here, you've got a nice shower that side. Like a little TARDIS shower. Yeah. Yeah. With the smoke doors. And then opposite that. This side is you've the. You've got your washroom. Yep. Yeah, it's the washroom there. This can turn into an ensuite quite easily, can't it? Yeah. With your sliding door here. Yeah. That's partition door. Across. There's a magnet yeah. there. Look. Yeah. Yeah. It's really nice. Nice bed. window in there. And then the, uh, and then the storage, island bed at the back. The storage all around. The storage around. Yeah. It. Oh, it does so offer a lot, doesn't it, for its money? Right. Yeah, real family van, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. For, for the price, I can't believe the price of it. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. Great, thank you.
I like I like the front of the fridge and freezer. It's quite funky. Hmm. I've just been talking to our neighbour here at the uh, Norfolk Motorhome Show and he's got a little auto sleeper, it's a VW and it's right behind us here, it's 22 years old and he's invited us to go and have a look, let's go and see what it's about There you go, and here is his look 22 years old So here's the cab and uh, we noticed there's a wrap round cupboards at the front, which is uh, the over cab, isn't it? Yeah, it's like, it all at the top, so it's yeah. the top, yeah. right over that. That's over there, bucket, yeah. Bucket end of it. Lots of uh, storage in there. Terrible. And uh, everywhere. And the usual um, skylight. Right. Yeah, that's it. And your swivel seat there, so you've got comfort. There. And your double bed. Double bed. Yeah, lovely big windows, Peter. Lovely windows. Aren't they? Yeah. 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 Back one's it. gone crazy. Right. So you've got a, tra a passenger seat oh, here. Oh yes, it's yeah? a three, three seater, but it's only two sleeper. It's got a yeah. belt on that. Okay. Which comes down yeah. after the... Uh, so your passenger could sit at the back here and read a book or whatever? You pull it out, you yeah. can sit here. Uh -huh. The trouble is when it's out, there's not a lot of room here. Yeah, I see. Here, see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so does that. Comes it pulls out, out. Oh, I see. Out. Yeah. Fridge. Here your fridge, yeah. Sorry, yeah. Right. I love the wood, the wood grain on the front of yeah. the uh, fridge doors. Yeah, I'd bother with that. It Do wouldn't work. All oh, right. Yeah. I went to, went to go to Peterborough and it, it wouldn't work. Uh huh. And so I was wrong, auto, wrong dealer. Up. I went from Cleveland. Yeah. Cleveland yeah. Auto Road. Yeah. And wrong dealer. Up. And I said, "Can you pick me up with a, a fridge engineer? Do you yeah. Have a fridge engineer. Come and check this fridge. It won't work. And I can put it on. And it'll run for a few minutes and it knocks off again." He said, well, we don't have a fridge engineer, as, yeah. as much as it, but I know a man in Huddersfield. Right. He gave me his number. Uh-huh. So I'm looking up and he says, uh, well, you're out of my range. Right. Out of my area. Yeah. But uh, my brother is in Silsden, which is on the way. Okay. So, give him a ring. So yeah. I, so I can't do it until the end of August. Wow, wow. He said, what's wrong with it anyway? I said, well, you fire it up, uh -huh. it clicks, runs a bit, clicks and goes off. Yeah. I said, but if you put it on and it clicks and you pull the red wire off the igniter box, yeah. it'll run forever. <laughs> All right. And but it, when it won't, when it gets cooled down and knocks yeah. off, yeah. it won't restart again because that wire see. is off. Yeah, I see. So I says, well, he says, take the green box off, you clean all the terminals up, do a good bit of grease on them, put it back on again. Yeah. And if it works, it works. If it doesn't work, give us a ring. Yeah. and we'll see if it can help. It's yeah. an emergency job. Mm -hmm. So I did all that, it works perfectly. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. And you got the right man, didn't you? If you find the right fella who can yeah. uh, knows these things. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I've had experience before when fridges break down and you yeah. end up changing the whole fridge unit. Oh yeah. Cost you an arm and a leg. Off here, out of here. Yeah, you, you could well, have a job. Yeah. They must have put it through the window. They they must have. Yeah. Yeah. We got yeah. right down to the bottom. Yeah. Right down at the bottom, yeah, yeah. And it's red, cool, yeah. That's it. Yeah. And I like the uh, nice cover for the sink. Yeah, that's a yeah. Double, double, yeah. double folder. Yeah. That's Fold it. Both ways, that way and that way. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. Uh, hold up like that. <laughs> yeah. As you say, 22 years old yeah. and still functioning, you know, as it uh, did when it was new. I made uh -huh. that into a red. I put yeah. LED bulbs in there. You got some LEDs in there, yeah, good. And these are all LEDs. Yeah. So that'll help your battery, yeah. won't it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I put that in, I took two bars and just put a strip of LED in it. Yeah, excellent. Yeah. Like yeah. And you've got a sliding <coughs> door into your washroom at the back, have you? Yeah, it slides across. You yeah. That's there to lock it so it doesn't slide about when you start. Yeah, it. yeah, lovely. Yeah. Yeah, all the matching wood grain. Yeah. Yeah, super. And they built much heavier, weren't they? These days they use much lighter oh, materials. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's, uh, all fiberglass and yeah, stuff. and plastic and stuff, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Can I just have a sneaky yeah, peek? Yeah. yeah. I don't use yeah. shower, but I've always took yeah. it there at the moment. Yeah, yeah. So you've got your, your cassette loo um, and a washroom in the back. I like the corner unit, that's nice, isn't that's it? That's a nice unit, you do. Yeah, yeah. And then your shower around the corner. Yeah. Two more drawers below. Yeah. And more storage in the back here, yeah. Yeah, storage all across the back. 
There is a lot of room, yeah. Yeah, yeah and you're full oven and grill. Yeah, it's yeah and excellent. Grill. Yeah, lovely. Four burner over. Yeah. Oh, they knew how to build them then, didn't oh, they? Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Yeah, it's changed, it's all plastic. And we're just saying the decals are looking pretty good too, really. Yeah. Yeah. Get your silver screen on there, Peter. Yeah. Needed that this week. Yeah. Keeps you warm, keeps you dark. Keeps That's you it. Cool. <laughs> keeps you cool, yeah. yeah. That's off lovely. Top, A little bit, isn't it? Yeah. Not too bad, though. Yeah. yeah. Well, believe it or not, Peter is 91 years young and he's still very active in his motorhome as a solo traveller and he says he enjoys it so much he's going to keep doing it and who could blame him? Hope you enjoyed that. We're leaving the uh, Norfolk Motorhome and Camper Van Show here at Cossey near Norwich and we're heading north. Uh, we're going to be going up the A1 a bit to Yorkshire uh, to a little campsite at Kellington Manor Hotel which is just near Nottingley and uh, on Monday morning Smurf has his first birthday checks so uh, that's our next job we'll see you there bye now